What's up everyone, in this scratch tutorial we're going to make a dodge game. So today we need the player, obstacles and a game over screen. So make whatever player you want. I'm choosing my cat as the player. So since you have it, start off by grabbing the when green flag click by events. Then go to motion, then go to and put it in the one green flag clicked and say in the X, let's say minus 160 and Y zero. Like this. Now what we want to do, follow the mouse pointer. Hmm. So go to control from the and grab a forever loop okay and then go to motion and set y set y like only up not right or left set y and then go to sensing set y to mouse y and then go to operators grab a divide and put the mouse y in the left side and put here let's say 2 in the right side put it in the set y and you can see that it only does it not in the edge see now perfect now what do we need next we need the obstacles the danger so how do we do that we create a sprite and we create the obstacle. I'm just going to make mine red and a square. You can make whatever you want. And once you're done making that, make sure it is in the center. Like this. Now go to code and grab a when green flag clicked. And go to control forever and create clone of myself and wait 1.2 seconds. So this means that it will forever create clone of myself and wait 1.2 seconds. So in the control, we have to grab when I start as a clone. Then make sure it is show and also in this one green flag click, make sure it is hide. So in the when I start as a clone show, then we want it to go to um, uh -huh. go to 56 and pick random. 135 to minus 135 so this means that it will go anywhere in the y axis it will go from 135 to minus 135 it will pick random where to go so grab a repeat let's say 52 times and um Change x by minus 10. Okay, and then we have to say if then in the control, if then, if then go to sensing, and if then it is touching edge, then uh, move minus 25 steps and uh, go to control and delete this clone at the bottom now let's try it as you can see it does work but the only problem is why does it go in the middle hmm Let's see. Oh yeah, we forgot in the 
axis that it has to be 257. Sorry, my bad. So, what we need to do is this. As you can see, it is running smoothly, like this. Now, what we need is a score. So, how do we do that? Go to variables and click make a variable. Then, let's call this score. And make sure it's for all sprites. Click OK. And at the very beginning, we need to set score. To zero and we wanted to change score so change score by one before the delete this clone now we need some sound effects so go to sound and choose a sound um, I'm gonna collect <laughs> yeah like that and then Go to sound and start sound collect before the delete has grown. Now let's try it. It is very cool. I love it. You see the score is changing every time it passes. Now every time the player touches the obstacle, we need a game over screen. Hmm, so how do we do that? It's simple. So go to the player script, which is this, and grab a when green flag, click again in the events, and then we have to forever in the control if then, and check if in the touching, touching sprite two in the sensing, then we want it to go to events and broadcast game over okay and then go to control and then and then stop this script and go to the obstacles and when I receive game over Stop, stop the script and also uh, stop all sounds before this. Okay, let's try it. Now if it's touching. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need to make a game over screen. So go to paint and create a new sprite. Now... Let's make the screen black. You can make it whatever you want. And make sure to center it. And uh, I'll just um, make this game over. Like this. And click the green flag to try a game. Okay, now go to the codes and when green flags clicked. We want it to hide and uh, go to 2014, whatever yours is, and go to looks and make sure to set ghost effect to 100. Now, in the events when I receive game over, what we wanted to do is show set ghost effect to a hundred 
and repeat uh, 50 times uh, change ghost effect by minus 2 okay and then and then it's like that yeah so if we do it and if we step hmm why is it still making sound hmm, let's see oh yeah to stop the sound we have to go to variables and make a variable now let's call this loose and keep this for all spreads click ok and at the very beginning set loose to no and now set that the forever loop we want it to repeat uh, repeat until loose is equal to yes and go to the player and if then touching sprite 2 then we want it to set loose to yes now let's try it I do variable loose as you can see it is doing and if it is touching the obstacle it does it so we have our button that always moves to our mouse pointer and a game over screen obstacles creating clones and moving into different ways so yeah that's it for this tutorial you can add features to it you can add uh, anything you can add colors so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up and subscribe too. Okay? And yeah. See ya!